Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you are liking our Spark interview question series. So I'm back with one more interview question on Spark. Before that, I like to request you guys to subscribe to our channel and share the videos. Also share your feedback so that we can improve our content. Please share the kind of questions you are facing in your interviews and uh, a kind of topics you would like us to cover in next set of videos. So today's question is what is difference between RDD and frame data frame? So RDD is a data structure. So uh, it's a non-editable data structure. When I say non-editable, it uh, it's a uh, immutable data structure uh, which represents lot of records distributed on a cluster. So mm, RDD can be seen as a collection of records and RDD is divided into partition and those partitions are sitting on different different machines in one cluster. So it is a, a so Spark when it came to existence it, it was all based on concept of RDD. You have to write your uh, uh, map function, reduce function to do any kind of operation on RDD. When Spark started to become famous. Lot of data scientists, data analyst kind of folks who were earlier working on Python, Pandas, and R world, right? R, they started using Spark. So those guys are more used to of using data frames. So, uh, so Spark wanted to make their framework. Spark folks wanted to make their framework more usable for data scientists and data analyst kind of kind of guy who could simply run SQL queries on the data, who could visualize the data in RDD as uh, a structured table. So that's why they provided data frame data structure. So data frame data structure in Spark is just an abstraction on top of RDD. It is a one layer more, one more layer on top of RDD. What it does, it gives a user feeling, it gives a developer a feeling that he is dealing with structured data, he is dealing with a table. So he can run usual operations of table like joining two tables or filtering data out of table or uh, selecting a specific column or uh, you know uh, doing group by on a table. So all those operations, uh, they were direct functions provided through data frame. Uh, 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 APIs, data frame data structure. So ultimately the whole code is run using RDD. But data frame is one layer on top of RDD which makes it easier for a developer to code on top of RDD. I hope uh, my answer is clear. Uh, if you have any questions please post it in the comment section. I will be very happy to answer those questions. Uh, please share, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.